in the equation x squared plus mx plus n equals zero, m and n are integers, the only possible value for x is negative three. What is the value of m? All right, so there are a lot of hints in this question. First of all, we're given a trinomial. Okay, so usually on the ACT math section, if you're given a trinomial, typically trinomials mean that you're going to have to factor. Okay, so that's the first little hint that's provided, especially if you have it set equal to zero. So trinomial equals factor. The second hint here, here is that it says the only, right? So italicized, the only possible value for x is negative three. So x has to equal negative three. So how do these two things come together to help us answer the question fairly quickly? Well, first of all, how do you factor a trinomial? Well, any trinomial, you're going to be, if it is factorable, you're going to end up with two sets of parentheses. And of course, in this case, equaling zero. We know that because the question says that the only possible answer for x is negative three, that means that both binomials in the parentheses must be x plus three. That is all that it can be. Because, if again, hopefully you remember from factoring trinomials, when you factor a trinomial in order to solve it, you would set each individual binomial here equal to zero, and in both cases we would get negative three, which would fit this idea that the only possible value of x is negative three. Well, what is x plus three times x plus three? Well, x plus three times x plus three, when we FOIL that, we get x squared plus six x plus nine equals zero. And then when I match that up with the original question, x squared plus mx plus n equals zero. Since the question is asking for m, well, m must be six in order for this question to truly work. And therefore, my answer is c. OK, so again, we're given a trinomial. It's set equal to zero. We take that as a hint to factor. We understand that because the only possible x value is negative 3, that means that the only way in which the trinomial could be factored is if you have x plus 3 times x plus 3. That's the, really the only way to factor it because negative 3 is the only possible value of x. Simplifying that out back to trinomial form, we get this x squared plus 6x plus 9, which then simply we're adding up or we're matching, right? So m equals 6 n would have to equal 9 if we were asked to figure that out. Since we're not, all we care about is m, and m is 6.